Title, The Mask of the Jade Artisan, by Wisdom Chronicles. Once upon a time, in an ancient village cradled by rolling hills and whispering forests, the art of jade carving was not just a craft, but a spiritual pursuit. The villagers believed that the stones were alive, each piece of jade a living testament to the earth's beauty. It was here that Ming, a young and earnest jade artisan, worked under the tutelage of Old Master Zhou, the village's most esteemed craftsman. Ming was as honest as the clear waters of the village stream, and like the stream, he was in search of his own path. Master Zhou's works were celebrated for their meticulous patterns, revered as the pinnacle of tradition. But within the heart of the old master lay a secret, a shrouded truth that gnawed at his legacy. Ming, with hands skilled yet unfulfilled, sought to mirror his mentor's creations, believing this mimicry would lead him to success. Yet, with each piece he finished, a part of him felt concealed, masked by the facade of another's style. Li Hua, Ming's childhood friend, observed his struggle. Her voice was like the gentle breeze that swayed the bamboo, calm and encouraging. Ming, the stone speaks to you in ways it does not with others. Listen to it, she would say. But Ming's heart was clouded by the fear of rejection, the dread of his true self being unworthy. It was during this time of doubt that a merchant arrived, a man whose robes whispered of wealth and whose eyes glinted with the promise of fortunes untold. He sought the essence of the village's talent to trade across distant shores. Show me authenticity, he proclaimed, and I shall shower you with gold and glory. Ming stumbled upon a jade stone unlike any other during his search for inspiration. It was not perfect. Its surface was marred by nature's touch. Yet it resonated with Ming, its imperfections a mirror to his hidden yearnings. With a newfound resolve, he chose to carve the jade, tracing the patterns set by nature rather than those set by tradition. As his hands worked, Ming's spirit danced. He carved not just a stone, but also his own fears, sculpting his doubts away with each stroke. The jade, once veiled by the earth, now shone with a gentle luminosity, a testament to the beauty of its true form. The day of the competition dawned, a day where destiny would unveil its face. Master Zhou presented a carving so precise, it seemed to be the work of the gods themselves. Ming with a heart thundering like the distant drums of the village festival, unveiled his work. An unorthodox piece, raw and speaking a silent language of its own. The merchant was captivated, seeing in Ming's creation a soulful quality that transcended mere craftsmanship. Here, he declared, is authenticity. Ming's piece, vibrant with the artisan's own essence, was celebrated as the epitome of purity and sincerity. Envy reared its head within Master Zhou, and in a moment of bitter wrath, he condemned Ming's work as a disgrace to tradition. But as the words spilled from his lips, so too did his secret. The revelation that his own lauded designs were not his own, but stolen from a master long forgotten. The village gasped in disbelief, yet Ming approached the old man not with scorn, but with understanding. He saw the fear that had shackled Master Zhou, the same fear he had just freed himself from. In the aftermath, the villagers' perspective shifted like the changing hues of the jade. Ming's authenticity garnered him not just the merchant's favor, but the villagers' reverence. They realized that their hearts, too, had yearned for the original and the genuine. Master Zhou, touched by Ming's compassion, began to guide him, sharing secrets that would refine Ming's raw talent. The moral that blossomed from the heart of the village, like the lotus from the mud, was clear and pure. Authenticity is not a commodity to be mimicked or replicated. It must be unearthed from within. By casting aside the masks of pretense, one's true beauty and worth shine forth. To be authentic is not merely to be different. It is to be deeply, unapologetically true to oneself. 
and in that truth lies the most profound artistry of all. And so, under the wide skies, and amidst the chorus of nature, the village of jade carvers flourished, their art forevermore a dance of truth with the stone, a symphony of the soul's own making.